What is up, people? Half Slap Bacon back with another episode of Minecraft on the Survival Craft server. Yeah. So, guys, um, I got a bunch more done off camera. I went and I farmed a ton of quartz, as I'm sure you can tell. Uh, yeah, so I got almost got the storage area done. We still need to clean up the back end. I want to, you know, eventually fill this with quartz. And I ran out of bone blocks. So need need the bone blocks. I put myself some nice infinite water streams on either side. Set up a bit of a pretty looking, good looking tree farm with some lighting up and down so we ain't got no mob concerns. And uh, I ran this thing once or twice. Do we have wheat? Okay, let's go get some weed actually and let's let's farm the cows so I can show you guys in action. And then we got some other stuff to get on today. We're gonna take a stack, cause I think I got 65 or so cows in there. So I really need to get that nano farm going. That's gonna be a priority. Chicken's building up nicely, so I ain't got no concerns here. So yeah, I removed the junk block, so there's a gap there. So now you guys can see how this works. So we'll just, we'll kill these guys off. Bye cows. Bye. Bye. Love you all. And as you can see, Hopper picks up all the goodies, transfers them into our chest. I've already been taking some some beef out of here because all this quartz. I went on a mad nether run. As you can see, I've got 52 levels. So once we kill them there, I can just hit the water farm. I did put the carpet back here just because it's easier to get up and down on. And we can... Ugh, stupid shield. We can lose the shield and go ahead, cows, make it the babies. Make it all the babies. It's so crammed in here sometimes I can't feed them all without doing a little dance around, but you know, you get pretty much all of them. So that way I'm getting about 30 cows or so each time I do a harvest. Which is, you know, it's more than good enough. I mean, we don't even need the beef as a primary f source of food, right? We've got the chicken farm for that. So this is more just about having leather. So as long as I feed them every once in a while, we're good. It's good. It's good. So as you can see, yeah, the water flows down that way. And the cows end up down there. And then we can just shut this off and let them grow up and then burn their faces with the, the lava and we're good to go yeah so it's a thing um i moved all my goods and started sorting which is great except for these because like i was saying i wasn't sure what i was going to do as far as the enchanting area cleaning this up making it look good like i don't like this so we're going to build a quartz area over here i think maybe with you know some chests for all my enchanted goods and the anvils and that kind of stuff and clean up the lighting and stuff but I mean that I can do off camera oh I also generated some new terrain so check this out yeah baby it's good it's good uh, so we're gonna take one of these because what we need to do today is I'm out of bone blocks and I'd like to get a shop set up as well so we're gonna go work on a mob farm so I'm gonna get loaded up with all the hoppers and stuff I need and we'll get at her. I'll be our bees. All right, people. So we've got our spawner. And we're actually very, very low. We're at like level 11. So unfortunately, that means I can't go down very far. But it also means the chances of anybody finding this are extremely, extremely low. Which makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. So I think what we're actually going to do is... I should have thought to bring my silk touch, but I didn't. So I'm smelting. We're going to smelt some smooth stone. You can see I've got kind of a hidden underground corridor to come down here. And I think what we're actually going to do... I should use the fortune because I'm going to be burning some coal. Is we're going to build a work area. Ooh, redstone up in here and an area for our hopper storage and everything and rather than prettying up the outside walls i'm just going to make it all smooth stone so that it's completely invisible from the outside should anybody ever come caving in this section they won't be able to identify it because it'll just look like part of the area all right people so 
I've got a redstone in above, default state of on to keep this thing shut off. That way, should anybody come by through the caves, they're not going to hear it going off if they get within range, which is what I want. I want to keep this thing as well hidden as possible. Now, unfortunately, we are only, I think, four or five blocks. Well, we, we got to go up anyways, so I guess it doesn't much matter. One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay, so we're not, we're not too, too bad. I would prefer to go down farther, but as you can see, we were hitting bedrock. So when these guys bob up and down, unfortunately, their heads are going to be within range. There's not much I can do about that. It's going to slow down the spawner a little bit, but being as we're down at the bottom of the Minecraft world, that's just something we have to contend with. So we're ready to punch out our lights and get our water stream going here. Hopefully I don't get any skeletons here. We shouldn't, that lighting is usually sufficient, but you never know when you start bouncing your torches out on the wall. Now, because I wanted to bring this down as far as possible, instead of having the water flow off to the side, we are going for a center channel water funnel to push it out, push them out, and then we'll go right up from there. I filled in the outside of this and blended it in with the cave so nobody should be able to tell at all from the outside visually that, and I should be using my silk touch. Nobody should be able to tell visually that... What am I doing here? There we go. That's better. That there's a spawner here. And if we leave the lights on, they shouldn't be able to see it visually either. Which is kind of what I was going for. And then outside of our actual AFK area, everything else I'm leaving pretty much plain Jane... Uh, stone just to kind of minimize the chance of anybody digging into this thing and finding our spawner like i said i'd like to keep this a well-kept secret if i can if i can control the the bone mass bone production for as long as possible till somebody else finds a spawner etc etc I will be a very happy guy. Unlike normal builds in my private worlds where I would leave access to the redstone in this case here because we're trying to keep everything hidden, I'm going to fill in absolutely as much as possible. I don't want any of this exposed at all. Just to minimize the chance of somebody digging into it and finding our spawner because if people get into building with the bone blocks and it becomes a major commodity like I said I would like to control it as long as possible and get the diamonds from both that and the arrows so we're gonna leave our water channel like this I've put these blocks in just for appearance sake on the bottom and then what we're actually going to do here is going to be fairly, fairly unique. I haven't seen it done yet, which I'm excited about. So let's grab our redstone here and I'll show you guys what I was thinking. So from here, we're going to want... Uh, let's just pop this block out and we'll pop this block out as well. We'll bust up that torch and I will remove this hopper after we get the next couple in. So we're going to want our hopper chain going out this way so that we have 
our goods going into an item filter. And we're going to set up a dropper with a bucket of lava for the item filter. What did I come over here for again? Oh, I have it. And then from here, what we're going to want is a minecart with a hopper right here. I'm going to put this block in place. Minecart with a hopper there. And then we're actually going to have a magma block facing in this way so that we can auto kill these guys when we AFK because I want this farm to be fully AFKable. And we're going to do that. We're going to have to put our magma block. Whoop. Wrong block. Give me that one. We're going to have to put our magma block here and we're going to leave it the light level shouldn't matter because we're far enough away so ah you know what let's make it bright what the heck it'll look good and then we're going to put this one here there that will extend that block and then we'll have the back of on our kill chamber here and then what we're going to do for this is we've got a lever here. So this will do auto kill, drop it into the hopper minecart, and that'll run through our hopper system. And then should we choose to use this as an XP farm, we can just drop it back and have them drop right into the hopper minecart. And then what we're actually going to do right now is we're going to set this up so we can put a button for an auto kill right here and in order to do that we're going to have a repeater here and that's going to go into a block and then from the block we're going to have our redstone and then my favorite comparator clock and i think i yes i made this too short going this way and then in order to compete this comparator clock we're going to need that right there um yes i did make this too short bummer can i yeah we're good there so we can go like so like so and then we're going to need to hide that section there. And I'm out of smooth stone. And like I said, I would like to keep all this smooth stone or a block as close to it as possible. So since we're out of smooth, oh, no, we got plenty. Let's go fill that in and we'll take our block. Or, and make a button to test it. So we should be able to just fill this in like so. And maybe we'll just take this whole area here and fill it in as well. Again, keeping everything as buried as possible. And I know you guys can barely see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. There we go. That should do it. We can put a torch in here even though it's not necessary with the new redstone mechanics because things cannot spawn on redstone. But by doing this, we'll have a block here. So when the button powers this, it will extend this when we shut that side off. And then I'll run through our timer to get our guys down to half a pulse. Very important if you do it this way, the repeater has to go directly into a block and there has to be a block directly next to that. Any variation and you'll get the timing completely off. So we should be able to just fill that in now. Well, we'll leave that one out for now because we're going to need that. But we should be able to test this system now. So if we want it, 
to be used as an XP farm. There we go. Looks like our timer is working fine. Alright guys, so I'm sure as you've seen me use before, here we are going to have our typical hopper pulser. So Comparator deactivates the torch, starts pulsing, uh, sending the item back and forth in the hoppers when it unlocks it, which sends the pulse into this block, which starts sending the items up our tower, and then of course I need to have our torch tower in between, which I have yet to do. I was just kind of laying out the space, making sure I wasn't hitting any critical areas where it would be visible and I actually need to bring it up a couple more hoppers. I'm going to close this in completely once I'm done and fill it all in because like I said I'm looking to hide all this as much as possible and then from there we will uh, put our hop our blah, 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 filter system in place. So that's actually probably going to end up running right here. So I'm going to get all that kind of set up and show you that next. All right, guys. So I did run into some time or size constraints here. I had initially wanted like three rows here, one for our bones, four chests. I've got three and a half chests for arrows because of the size restraints, but that's okay because the overflow will just move into here, right? on both I've set up overflow protection so since there's one over filtered row if these can't take it it'll just go to the third one so that's not really a big issue having the three and a half on one however I'm running into another issue where um, there is something on the side of this wall that I don't want to run it into and I wanted to put some lava in here. So what I wanted to do was show you the guys this before I close it off because I am going to get on that in just a second. So filters are set up with overflow protection, comparators, dummy blocks, da da da, all the way down, all the hoppers into the chest and now I'm good to close this entire section off. And once it's closed, I won't be able to get back here. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. Now, I get to deal with another issue I have. And that is that I wanted to have some way of funneling extras into lava here. And it looks like the only way I'm going to have that happen is if I take it from the bottom of the chest. So I'm going to have to have some way of activating a dropper and locking a hopper at the same time in the floor here so the the hopper only takes items when I turn the lava on and I know it's possible but I also know I've never done it before so it's gonna be interesting I'm gonna have to play around with this for a bit all right guys so I got a bit of a mess to clean up I wasn't happy with the you know the weird shaped wall on either side um either with this really to be honest with you but I'm gonna leave it just because it works for this setup I might remove actually yeah let's pull that glass and let's put a stair there and just go like this and this so it hides our hopper minecart all together but we have unfortunately we have to have a half slab here otherwise we're gonna get shot in the face with this setup but what I've got going on here, as you can see, I've got two um, dispensers here. And the, the ones hooked up here to our rapid fire comparator clock, as you know, I like to use. So comparator out, repeater, and then it comes back. And because it goes into the side, it causes a rapid pulse, hits this block, powers the dispenser. So when I don't want to collect items, and we're just going to cover that up with stairs so it's not cutting off our redstone and everything's all good. So when I don't want to collect items, I can fi just have that fire off and we're good to go. Now on the other side here, I've done something a little more complicated. So you can see we've got a lever. And what we're actually going to have is when we flip it, 
um, it's going to fire out the lava and then this will fire. So we'll be able to stand here and watch the items drop into the lava, which is what I thought is kind of cool. But then the tricky part is when we turn the lever off, see how it, it takes it. So we're getting a pulse on both ends. And this is done with like a dual action monostable circuit. So what happens is the power travels down the wire. And if you're not familiar with this, it's going to hit this repeater, right? And power this block, which is going to send the signal out here. But at the same time, it's going to cut this signal off when it powers this piston and fires out because then it's going to disconnect that redstone wire, right? So it's going to cut the power to this repeater, which will give us a pulse when we turn the lever on. And then because there's a delay here with this second repeater, because this block's actually going to shut off before this redstone line due to the repeater delay, this is going to pull back and then a split second later it's going to shut this wire off so it'll reactivate as this pulls back and then it'll deactivate to give us our pulse um i guess the easiest way is just to show you guys basically this is what happens so if you watch the line see how it pulses twice so that's how we're accomplishing that and then we've got that same redstone line just splitting off over here and coming all the way into this block to shut our um, redstone torch off to allow items to pass through the hopper into the dispenser. So otherwise that hopper will be locked and we should go down and double check it. See, it's not, it's actually not powering all the way, which I was a little concerned about. So let's get this bad boy out. And let's just quick make another repeater to rectify that issue because we actually need these items to go into the the block so we'll put it right there maybe there we go so now it's going to deactivate that torch which is going to allow that system to pass items through so we're pretty good to go there i would say now all i really have to worry about is prettying this up and closing it off down here I am gonna leave walking access just cuz it's underneath the whole mob farm and even though I'm looking to close as much of this off as possible parts of it I do I would like to have access to so in case anything ever goes wrong I can get down here to see if that hopper's backed up or there's an issue there this hopper chain gets backed up and that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside the easier it is to do maintenance on your redstone the better your redstone work that's what i always say but on this side however we're just gonna go like this close that off this side should really be good like that I'm happy with that the rest as long as that's closed off there I'm good so we'll maybe throw those in there get this whole thing cleaned up and closed off and of course I want a regular block there and yeah, I'm going to pretty much fill the rest of this in, guys. And I'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay, guys, so I did a little test and I failed my first test. <laughs> Big surprise. Big surprise. Looks like our filters are working okay. All in all, but I had put a repeater here instead of a comparator off the hoppers. Yeah, that needs to be a comparator. Or it can't detect what's going on with the items and stuff so that's kind of a like a major that's not a minor mess up that's a major mess up now if i had left it as it was i would effectively not have an item filter so that's done i'm out of blocks i put this in here i'll show you guys in a sec here i did a little bit of cleaning up just to pretty it up 
Give me a couple more of these just in case. Oh, I brought down another glowstone. I did a run to take some stuff up. I want a glowstone here. So yeah, that's done. I inverted this, so now down is off. I, it's just a thing for me. So down is off, so I just inverted that with, you know, an, a repeater and another torch and that kind of stuff. Fun times. So I inverted that as well with just torch. See? Torch. Instead of just straight redstone. So that's the way I like it. We've got a thing for our mob crusher. Um, auto kill on and off as well. So, yeah. It should be working beautifully here. We need that there. Um, I'm going to AFK for a bit. And we'll see how it works. All right, people. After a lot of work, I've got a system that works. So we've got... Let's turn our mob stopper on here. We've got the auto kill. So I can just AFK and get all the bones for the bone blocks. Which is kind of the main purpose here. Oh, I've put a door in just to keep it nice and pretty. I've got myself a little workstation double chest, which is great. I put the mob stopper in because I had totally forgotten about that. And this had to all come up a level because our drop was too low. They were taking damage. So let me just kind of show you. This all came up a level. It's still the same. This is now just a repeater right out into a block into a torch. And then this one is the repeater into a block. Torch, 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 torch. Piston up there for our mob stopper. So yeah, fun times. And the thought just occurred to me, ah, screw it, I don't care. I don't have the blocks to fix. Did I leave? No, I didn't. So we're smelting. So we will get around to fixing it anyways, because I'm going to have to make the blocks to do so while we play here. So now we can shut our stopper off, get these guys to drop down. We got the auto kill going. Uh, stop that and get some ready for manual mode. I mean, the auto's just great. This is great, but combining these features in 1.10, I love this. So what happens is, because when we pull this back, and this is why I had to raise it, I had forgotten that since they were falling into the cart, they would take more than three blocks of damage because they don't fall on top of it, they fall in. But because they fall in, I can actually crush these guys and the cart will hold them there when the crusher pulls back. But that's still kind of a bug I'm working on here. Oh, I didn't close the thing. Is unfortunately, would you die? Unfortunately, what seems to happen is if they get a even a brief view of me, um, then they get hostile, start attacking each other, and when they start attacking each other, they can knock the cart loose. So, you know, as long as it goes into a chest, it's not too big of a deal. I can always get it back and get back in there. I was kind of hoping these blocks were going to prevent them from, like, who knows? Maybe if we go that way? Yeah, that looks ugly. I'll just risk it. I'll play careful is what I'll do. Um, they're probably actually seeing me through the corner of this block, so I'm just going to have to make sure that when I do manual kill, I stay away from those corners because, see, as long as they don't see me, they seem to fi fall down fine. They don't seem to see me. I can come up here and here. And we're good to go. So let's uh, let's do this. Oh, I swear to God, they weren't doing this before, guys. 
You stupid idiots. You idiots must die. Only because I'm recording. I swear, that's what it is. Um, yeah. Let's see what we can do about this, actually, because it looks like it's starting to become problematic. So let's get that down. They gotta be seeing me through these corners right here. So let's try this again. See, until they actually fire, it seems to work fine. When they shoot, they shoot out the cart. Now, I could do the whole push a block into the cart trick, but then the problem we have is if I push a block into the cart, um, the cart's not going to hold them in place, and that becomes our problem. So, yeah. But it's a work in progress. I, I'm just happy to have the auto kill because that means I can now get all the bones, right? All the bones. Very important. We must have all the bones. Whoops. What am I doing? I think I've been at this too long again, people. That's good enough. I say that's good enough. Yeah, the auto kill definitely works beautifully. That I am ecstatic about. So uh, I'm going to go like this just so you know can't have mobs spawning there and stuff. Like that's important in things. And then the rest looks, yeah the rest is pretty good. Yep. Yeah, I'm good there. And then I'll close that one off there. And here and here and away we go I am a happy camper so guys I hope you enjoyed it was fun for me trying a new design on a mob farm gotta love that when new versions bring new mob farms it's a thing that I love a lot in Minecraft anyways if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button to help others like yourself find the channel and if you're new and you haven't already, hit subscribe for more videos. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.